Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily update on Ethereum. Uh, there's quite a lot we need to talk about today, it's a relatively bullish day, yesterday in the evening, or at least in my time zone in the evening, we got some more bullish momentum which actually caused us uh, to break above this level right here around 1660 which was our main resistance level and this was also uh, as expected in my last analysis because this was actually my analysis from yesterday, so it's still the same. We'll do a full overview of, on, on, on that, what happened, and uh, and also, and most importantly, what to expect from here. Uh, because it's um, the Friday, as most of you know, is uh, usually pretty volatile. So some volatility is expected. Is that going to be bullish? Is that going to be bearish? Can we still hold that momentum in the weekend? Or will we see some sort of a reversal? That's what we'll talk about in this video. So that's what we'll do. But before we get into Ethereum specifically, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, Check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comments and there you'll find instructions on how to join that group and, uh, and become a better trader slash investor together with us while making profits. But now onto Ethereum. So if we take a look at Ethereum right now, oh, excuse me, that was a little bit of a research on um, potential trades. But Ethereum right now, I mean, the moves yesterday evening were, I think, a little bit of recovery after the big crash we had after the interest rate decision. I think that was a little bit too much of a crash. Usually you see um, a bit of recovery after that. That doesn't mean that we, we are all of a sudden bullish. I mean, on the very short term, obviously right now we are bullish, but overall we are still bearish. All right, so that happened. But apart from that, yesterday we also just got some, some oh, excuse me, some more bullish momentum in the entire market, right? So we, for example, had BlackRock filing for a Bitcoin ETF, which is bullish for the general market. Not necessarily for, for Ethereum, but everything follows Bitcoin, right? So if we get bullish Bitcoin news, Ethereum will, will have that as well. But apart from that, it was also in the technicals. So what I said yesterday is that if you actually zoom out now, and if we delete this uh, ugly orange triangle, what you'll see is that what happened yesterday is that that bearish momentum we got from, from Wednesday made us drop down to a very strong trend line. Trend line that came from, from, all, the way, from all the way from the bottom down here. And that's where we found support. So yesterday, when we um, when we confirmed that support by by holding it with like four candlestick touches, you could have already betted that we would at least get up to 1665, 1660 again, our, our main resistance level. That we got that bullish momentum is because of the reasons I, I just talked about earlier. And that we got that bullish breakout, I mean, because we, we, we the bullish momentum was expected. Bullish breakout, not necessarily. But all right, so that brings us to where we are right now. We are above 1665 and 1660, but now we have this pretty big resistance level between 1710, which uh, has a 382 FIP, and then 1690, which has a previous 0.618 FIP. Then in the middle, you have 1700, psychological resistance level. So it's not a hot take, but I don't think we'll be able to break above this. I think there's a little bit of a chance that we can break above that because we actually have seen some sort of a reversal in the dollar strength index, which is which should be bullish for crypto, but we haven't seen a reaction like that yet. So maybe the reaction, the bullish reaction to that is a lagging a bit and we can still have that. And then apart from that, the Friday also is notoriously bullish, um, historically at least. So that way, I mean, the one thing we would have to do is like get up to 1715 where we will find resistance, but then like take a break retest off of 1690 and then break above that. It's a possibility. It's possible, but at this point in time, I would say it's like a 10, 15% chance. I think it's way more likely that sure, today we will actually get more bullish momentum, um, but that we will just get up to that level around 1690 and 1700, and that from there we'll just start to slowly drop back down towards 1660, find some support, and then slowly continue our bearish momentum throughout the weekend. At this point of time, I think that's the most likely scenario. I will, of course, keep you up to date, though, so don't worry too much. Uh, but for now, that's my take on Ethereum. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.